needed to hold it up. That's huh? okay, it's okay. Hello, well, we have a little of technical problems, uh, but we're transmitting now from my wonderful wife's uh, page. <laughs> and uh, my name is Adam Betzalel. Uh, I was uh, invited here to speak. Um, I comment with my with my wife, like I told her, I, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly what to speak about. And uh, she said, you should speak about your story. And uh, it's so amazing. And in, in, inside myself, I've said like, what does that mean? I like I not even feel like I I even exist, but uh, but uh, this is a, this is a special time that we're living in, and uh, and it's very important. Also, uh, I think uh, I found relevant to to listen to my wife. So, um, my uh, I was uh, growing in in Mexico City in in Mexico, not in Mexico City, and I developed as a, a professional professional artist. And so I, uh, very young, I was very involved in, in all type uh, or, or many streams of uh, spiritual and new age uh, uh, ideas and paths with a strong direction into, into uh, ancient uh, uh, Middle Eastern uh, uh, tradition and, and also the use of this uh, Hebrew language. Then I went into a process also to do a conversion. I, I come from, my father comes from Cuba and they come from Sephardic Jews. But that's something that I find out later on that make a connection to why I have this strong uh, passion for, for the Hebrew language and for, for the deeper meaning of Torah. Um, I had to go through a, a series of a strong uh, spiritual experiences that I was not looking for I was totally off the path and uh, and and I have very strong spiritual experience to, uh, similar to what they call a third eye opening and and some encounters and and make me know that the intuit have the intuition that there was uh, all these experience were somehow described in 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 the scriptures but they needed like another interpretation so uh, it was a it's a long it's a long process through which uh, uh, eventually made me to get closer and closer to 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 the root of the tradition. I did two conversions: one conservative, one um, orthodox. Later on, and and now uh, I mostly uh, I'm I'm very committed to to. Uh, and, and I'm a, I'm a, um, a Hasid of the Lubavitch Rebbe and a very in the Balshem Tov and the and the mystical teachings in, in general. But I follow the Lubavitch path, and uh, I still try, try to combine my art uh, with that. So that was kind of like a brief in, introduction. Um, I wanted to I want also to speak uh, according to the times. Like uh, it says from uh, the stations that we need to speak according to the times, and and we as Jews we have this great, uh, great, great, great gift and a special power and, and the, to 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 be able to live according to the to the times because we have a Torah that goes according to the times and the cycles and 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 and. Nothing is random in, in, in our Torah and in, in the months. So we're entering into the month of Purim and into the month of uh, Adar. And uh, just before sunset, we were also in Rosh Chodesh uh, Adar, which is uh, every Rosh Chodesh has the whole potential of the, of the whole month. And, and, and that's in the beginning of the month when there's Everything is in potentiality, but not in revealed state. So in the full moon, we're going to be revealing the full state of, uh, of Adar, which is uh, Purim. But really, Purim is really a consequence of an earlier event that related to the seventh or of, of Adar, that is the birth of Moshe Rabbeinu, the leader of the Jewish people that incarnates in every generation as the leader. And... and and it's also the death of, of Moshe Rabbeinu. So I was, this, uh, I have a, I have a shot also, um, 
around 20 people or so that I share Hasidut with them in, in, in a language, uh, Spanish language. And um, a lot of them, big part of them are converts or per persons that are in a process of conversion, um, which I find very, very, very important uh, for all people, um, but also people that is approaching for the first time to Judaism, but also very important for people that already make up preconception of preconception about Judaism and haven't really uh, uh, delved into the internal aspect or mystical teaching of, of, of Judaism. So I, I, I use this group to share uh, some Hasidut with the, with, the, with the people and I, um, somebody sent an image of um, uh, like wishing good, uh, uh, good month and Adar and the symbol of the the, the 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 fishes because this damasal the constellation of this month relate to the fishes and I I out of a sudden I I saw a lot of relationships that um, there's uh, the symbol of the damasal of this month is two fishes that are encounter so so we, you, we will see in this month a lot of paradoxes uh, because there's two fishes uh, swimming in opposite directions. And we also have the aspect of water, but in the fish, the fish is a symbol of the sadik, and it's a, also a, a symbol of purity, and 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 also represents also the consciousness of wisdom, and in in, in Kabbalah is a level of chokmah, is a level of total unity. So, so for example, we see similar parallels. The reason why Purim, the aspect when the new moon is full, the the full moon of the month reveals the the the, the greatest aspect uh, of the month is in is Purim, but Purim comes a consequence. Why why what what does it mean Purim? Purim means that uh, uh, the the evil man throw uh, the uh, like like a like a lottery to choose when to uh, kill the Jews and cheat his shoes. Uh, the seventh of Dadar, because he knew that there was the, the, the day that the, the leader of the Jewish people had died, so he thought uh, that's a suspicious day to kill the Jewish people, but he, then was not, he was not counting that it was also the day of his birth. So we see uh, a, a type of paradox there, that uh, also Moshe was a, an aquatic being, an amphibious being. He, he uh, says, Meshitihu Amayim, that he was... He was Minamai, uh, he was taken out from the water. He represents a, a, a being that is totally submerged, his, his identity, and, and is not separated with the divine consciousness. Um, so, also we see, uh, for example, the, the, there is the Aman and is the Mordechai. For example, the, the same numerical value or Arur Haman, the, 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 the the course Haman is the same numerical value the gematria of Baruch Mordechai, like the two total opposites is a, is is a, the same concept. Now um, we also uh, see like all the schemes and techniques that uh, what a man wanted to do to kill uh, Mordechai. He received upon himself. He he make a, a very uh, high pull. And from there, and from there, uh, uh, to to hang uh, Mordechai, and that was the same point to which he was uh, hanging. And uh, we also have this aspect that be so drunk that, uh, that that you don't distinguish the difference between one and the other. So uh, something that I want uh, 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 to to speak about uh, about this is that uh, the mas this muscle is also represents to something that is concealed. If we count the the year starting from from Nisan from from Pesach from from the the Masal of Aries or 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 March April depending when it falls uh, that's the beginning um, of of our journey that represents the head in 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 terms of the whole year and the and 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 the, that will be the first month where where Adar will be the 12th month, it represents that is both connect in the same point, meaning the end and the beginning, the end is engaged in the beginning, then the beginning and the, and the end. And bo both is a reference to ourselves, but Aries represents more like the physical aspect of our identity, 
or the, the, the more ex, uh, how people perceive us, how we project in the world. Well, well the masal of, um, of um, um, Adar represents more how we are in that subconscious realm. Also, the waters, the subconscious is very related to, to, to the dreams. So, this is a, a, a very auspicious month to do a very deep inner work I inside ourselves and to flip over um, our destiny. And so, saying that, I, I want to say something I, I, I thought I, believe me, I didn't plan like to what to speak. But uh, today in this group that I have these people, I send, uh, there is a, a, a book, of, a, a compilation of uh, phrases for each day in the Hasid, in the Lubavitcher work called Hayom Yom, that is a compilation of the six Lubavitcher Rebbe, the Rebbe Rayats, with some phrases of, 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 of uh, Hasidut or something that the Rebbe Rayats consider relevant for that day. So I want to read um, the the phrase of today. It's very I thought very inspiring, and I if somehow saw a connection with everything this that I'm saying, and also with the name of this event, the light of the infinite. So, because in 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 Hasidut, there's also the concept that what is the when we when we think about the light of the infinite, like uh, like Al Pikavala in Hasidut, we call it like. The ends of or right, the ends of or, and 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 in the intellectual analysis, the comprehension of all these worlds is a very complex system of uh, worlds interconnected one into other into other. Uh, we we see that the life, the the ends of or is something unsurpassable, unreachable, a uh, much previous. Before any creation, and even before creation, there's words uh, before that. But um, one of the main uh, Hasidic discourses in the Lubavitcher world, it's 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 uh, one of the the six, six Lubavitcher Rebbe, and then was developed uh, for for uh, around sixty years by the uh, by the by the Rebbe, the seven Lubavitcher Rebbe. Uh, it's called ba Basi Legani or, or Bati Legani that come from Shira Shirim, the, the Song of Songs, that is trying to show us that even with the, all the difficulties of this world, all the challenges, all the darkness, all the cynicism that we uh, uh, may experience and, and the, all the negation of, of, of divinity, maybe uh, Hasbe Shalom not, not all the time by yourself, but we see the world, we, we don't see a world in general, that 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 is a reflection of of the total unity uh, with with God, and nonetheless, the 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 the, the mimer, the Hasidic discourse, is saying that this is the garden of the divine presence. That when it says that I I come back into my garden, it's a reference to the divine presence that is coming into this world, and and it says that uh, without entering into that into that discourse. Uh, but the the, the 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 basis of that is that these that we are like in rock bottom ground zero in terms of the order of creation we are in a physical world that is the lowest lowest level of con of condensation of of this spiritual energy of light on the infinite uh the essence that is up all above only is fine here in this physical world so this touch to the great a great miracle and opportunity to 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 realize that the great gift and great potential that that we uh, have to be here in this world, and I I know it could feel especially like in social media this can sound like so far fetched and uh, and and cliche, um, but this is very 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 special to be here. So the, the 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 yom yom says like this with without further um, delayed says like this. Uh, well, first it says that the, the, the there is a, an, an an interpretation of the abbreviation in the book Torah or that is only relevant in Hebrew, in Hebrew says the translator. So wait, what uh, uh, because I know what it says, I'm gonna say so the 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 the. the, the 
the predic the Alter Rebbe was saying in the Mimer, um, a type was describing a type of Mesirut Nefesh. Mesirut Nefesh is translated like, is like um, a state of the soul when he's willing to give up give up his life, her life for God, for a holy cause. And he says that that is a, a feeling that is totally irrational. It comes from, from the aspect of a hidden wisdom inside every Jewish soul. And, and that, we don't live with that message with Nefesh because we have a lot of shells that, that block that inner wisdom that we have inside, inside. But when it comes to critical moments where we are crushed, and, and if we are put in a situation to deny God, God forbid, has the shalom, we will be willing in that crushed state, doesn't matter what, to give up our life for God. So the, this is the concept of Mesirus Nefesh. So in this Torah, or it says that was saying a Reshitabot, Reshitabot, it means the, the beginning letter of, of the word. So you can use a phrase and you use only the first letter of the phrase and rather than full, put other phrase, you just put those initial letters. So the re initial letters was Pe Aim Mesirus Nefesh. So the rest says that that Pe Aim stands from Penimius Atzmo of the soul. The Penimius uh, is a mysterious nefesh that comes from Penimius Atzmo of the soul. So it comes from the internality of the essence. We are not only speaking about the essence of the soul, of the soul, but the internal aspect of the essence. So in Kabbalah and Hasidut, and we, it, 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 there's always a con concept of internal and external. Internal means how I am within, in myself. Like, now I'm speaking, and so people are perceiving my external being. Even I try to express my interiority, but people are, 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 are only can grasp an external aspect of me. They, they, they cannot see me as I am inside of me. So that's, that's like how we can describe a little bit the, what is internal and, and external. So it says that this is a type of Mesirut Nefesh that comes from the inner essence of the soul. So then I find out why he wrote that previous to, to, to the continuation of the Ayon Yom. And he says like this, it grows, and, 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 and this is uh, um, from, from, from the Humash, from our Holy Torah, uh, no, in, the, in the Teilim, and the Psalm um, 104, uh, chapter 23. Um, in, and, and it's also something that, that we say in Rosh Chodesh, there's a prayer that says, uh, uh, um, bless my soul, God my soul, and and he says, man goes out to his work, and to his labor, to his aboda, until evening. That's the pasuk. That's the the simple translation of the pasuk of, hmm? of the verse. A man goes out to his work and to his labor until evening. So it says that the, 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 there's two mean two two ways. The rabbi says there's two ways to interpret. Interpretate this verse. So the first is like this, and I'm just gonna read directly from it, and I'm gonna explain along. Um, man goes out to his work and to his labor, aboda, until evening. Mean every soul in its descent into this material world has a personal task. Then, this then is the meaning of the verse. Man goes out, the soul goes out from his position of the troubled souls. So we are in this exalted world. It says that even Hashem created the world, He consults with the souls of the Sadikim. So we exist in a level previous creation. And, and it says that the, the soul of the Yid is a part, real part of Hashem Himself. So, and we are not like, uh, we, we are a total unity. We are not separated in, like in this individual uh, experience, like I am you and you, and you are you. No. It's, it's, it's a whole pool of your souls. And we come out of that to come into a, mi to come into my, to a mission. It says, man goes out to, uh, to his work, descend, descend into this material world, 
It has a personal task. This is then the meaning of the verse. Man, man goes out to his work. The soul goes out from its position in the troubled souls in the highest heavens and descends from plane to plane until it come to be invested in a body in the nat natural and animal souls. So, this will be very complex to explain in what is called the Seder Ishtar Shalut of the chain of worlds, how all these worlds operate, uh, like uh, in Kabbalah, in Hasidut, it's called, it's called um, the world of Atzilut, uh, where we go, is a total, uh, level of total oneness, um, and then is uh, uh, and, and then from that uh, is where the the sephirot, the tree of life, uh, exists because the attributes of Hashem. We describe Hashem like uh, like uh, who, who wisdom. With who, with wisdom, He created everything, and with understanding, and and He and and lecha Hashem agedula gevura beatifere, and then you is uh, the greatness and the strength. But but all the Kabbalists are, agree that you cannot. Describe the essence of who Hashem is by His attributes, because He's much, much more than that. It's like, it's like if you are trying, if you, I, I can show you one of my paintings, and you're trying to define me in the essence of who I are, I, I am, just by looking at the painting. So he, his attributes are, but but in that world of Atzilu, nonetheless, even though you, we can say there's there's Hesed, mercy, and there's Gebura, there's strength, even we can point to this is 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 this and that 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 is that they are in a total state of unity, and this is a world that exists even previous creation, and this is the source of the Jewish souls. Then there's a. A very drastic descent. There was already a lot of uh, uh, contractions when the, the light contract, so it can uh, so it can give a space to creation to exist. But 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 even uh, before creation, the light already went to a, a lot of contractions. So it's, we're gonna go to a, a lower level that is called the, the world of creation, the world of Berea. and the, the, the Torah says, but a sheet bara. And it, 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 the Bereshit Bara Elokim, it doesn't it use the name of God related to plurality. Like Elokim Im is, uh, stands for, for for plurality. It's not that He is plural, Chazal Shalom, but but it, creation is is a lot of plurality. Just uh, look uh, outside in the, in the garden, how many species of plants, uh, animals, and, and bacteria, and it's it's, it's very the, the creation is highly highly diverse. So, so uh, uh, is, this is what is called also the Olama Peru, the the, the 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 world of separation, where it's gonna that light previous of the world of of total oneness in a, in a, in a tzilut that uh, uh, comes from the root etzel uh, et, et that it's uh, uh, very close. The Lubavitch Sherebe was not even 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 uh, normally write the full world at tzilut or 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 say it. It just said. At, 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 because he's feel like, for he was so real when he pronounced at silu, he, he, his soul lives. So, then uh, this world of separation is still the attributes, but now, I perceive myself as, as separate. This is the, the world, the, the world of Berea, this lower world, is a world where, where anything that can be understood in creation, anything, is understood over there. And the, the, the angels are the angels of the, 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 the seraphim. But even they, they say, Kadosh, 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 Hashem Sevakot. Why? Because they comprehend and understand everything. But when they, they encounter something that they don't understand, they know that they are seeing God. And, and it's removed what they can comprehend. Because this light of the angels of only, like, like a tailor, only enter so much, and there's a part of the light that doesn't enter into that vessel, but a part entering, whatever can enter, is what they can understand. And what, it, what, what they don't end, understand is beyond their self, it's exal, exalted and elevated, and it's, there's a meaning of kadosh, it means separate, it's exalted in, in, in another level. So that's why I say kadosh, 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 Hashem Sevakot. 
So from there we go to uh, then is the world of 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 uh, uh, of uh, Yetzi of of Yetzi, of formation that is when it's the more related to the emotional attributes which the previous world were more intellectual uh, uh, um, type of words and then we hold to the emotions that this relates to the seven days of creation. The, the first day of creation relates to the, the attribute of mercy and the second day of creation, the, sec- the, 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 the aspect of uh, Geburah and strength. That's why then the second day was separation, right? Like, like, like a string, like, se- like, like, like Geburah, like, like judgment is something that separates and says, this is this and this is that. And the third day was the reconciliation of both that was, it says, very good. And then, and so on. And then we go, we are gonna go through a series of, of condensation till, till, to go to the, to the spiritual, uh, to the physical reality that we are in. And so it continues and says, um, and descends from plane to plane until it comes to be invested in a body in the natural and animal soul. It says souls because this is uh, the story of many souls and, and, so we take upon we one one thing that is crucial, almost a, a matter of uh, survival uh, in these times, is to be aware that we have a divine soul and we have an uh, an animal soul. And sometimes we may judge yourself because we want to. No, the one one going direction, and we go another direction. Maybe may that 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 that, that, uh, that uh, something I may be doing wrong, but that only be right if you think that you only have a divine soul. But you also have a, an animal soul, and because your divine soul is inside your animal soul, everything that every time that your animal soul says, "Hey, I'm hungry, I want to eat," even if you're thinking to think, trying to think in the most holy things, you, you you process it because the divine soul is inside the animal soul, and and so this divine soul is going to be enclosed <coughs> in an animal soul, and the animal soul is going to enclose in a physical body, even 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 much more uh, constricted. So this is uh, just potion of the birds that he says the man goes out to do his work. It says it says it descends from plane to plane. It comes into being invested in a in a in a body in the natural and animal soul. The, pros, the purpose of this descent is, and put under slash, man to his work, to his general task of achieving dominance over form over matter. Meaning that we have a body, we shouldn't castigate the body and deny the body, but we shouldn't also overindulge the body. So what is the task? Is the task is achieving the meanings of, 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 of over uh, the form over matter. Um, meaning the spiritual over the material. So I also want to point something very, very important that I thought about talking in this talk, but I didn't develop a whole thing about it. But there's a lot of misinformation um, and it's for me more sad for the Jewish people because we don't need anything outside. And, and yes, we can take things that strengthen the truth of what we have, but not as opposed. If we feel like we are lacking, it's just because we are not looking clearly at what we have. And this is comes from 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 a person that I went through a lot of I I I know I know these paths I know ayahuasca I know yoga I know um, uh, all the 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 healing world the authentic and the not so authentic and all this type of stuff and. And in in, in, in in great emphasis in the Oriental traditions is this aspect of, of oneness and elevation and, and total unity. But but 
So when he says here about the transformation of, of matter, we may think like we should just close the book, forget about Torah and Mitzvahs, and just go sit in a mountain, go to a retreat uh, to do Vipassana, and, 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 and just kind of like go to the, to, 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 to the lake in Mexico, Bacalar, and go do retreats, uh, and you just kind of like shut off your phone. And so while, while all of that can really help you, it could be extremely um, uh, advisable for, for many people, the ultimate goal is that sometimes it's loss of track. Because when you have this high elevated experience where you really are experiencing unity, but there's two levels of unity. So many of these people could be that they are really experiencing this unity here above. But when they came here below, they they are not the same 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 being. And 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 the and the reason is that Torah is challenge uh, uh, challenging us, given the great opportunity to reveal that state here. That's one of the meanings. One we say, for example, Shema Israel, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad. Why we don't say Ye, uh, uh, Yehid? Yehid is a stand for a, a, a word that encompasses this unity. Well, Echad implies that there's one, and there is two, and there is three, right? Like Ruben was was uh, 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 was. Uh, was uh, a, 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 was was called a a a, 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 a the first like the first one but um but um Yitzhak was called a yehid so like like unity so why we say ehad we should say yehid because the point is not the unity there above the 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 the, the idea is to come into the plurality and see that is really not separation. So that's the the, the whole point of Torah and Mizbot is in, in the whole point of transforming matter uh, uh, is not that we are gonna m move away from material consciousness. Is meaning that we're gonna change rather than 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 the animal soul and our desires and the, the sense of self guiding the decisions. Of how I move into unity is all the all the physical aspects that I do are for the sake of the divine and the fact that we have Baruch Hashem given given the Torah we have that power to bring this divine light to the performance of the of the Milma. So we cannot see how that revelation takes place, but we're gonna continue with with this. Um, um, so it says, Mengo uh, in the highest heavens until the sense can be invested in the body to the purpose of these senses uh, of 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 these sense. This this is to this general task of achieving the menace from a form over matter, meaning the is, uh, the spiritual over the material to illuminate the world with the light of Torah and the candle of mitzvah. There's some a lot to say just about the difference between the light and the candle, and we we cannot go into all that. But it says, let's continue. It says, to his labor, to his labor refers to each individual particular individual's particular mission. For every soul has a, a unique aboda, a unique work in intellect and emotions according to his gener to his na uh, nature and character. So first he says. He goes out to his his work, and that's the general mission that we have to transform and refine physical matter, because because the divine soul in in reality doesn't need to come here, doesn't need to here to 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 come and and evolve. The divine soul comes here to help to transform the animal soul to 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 evolve. So so. It says, that's the general word to, 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 to transform and to subdue the material consciousness and sublimate it into a, an, an, a spiritual one. But the, there's, beside the general word, there's a particular word that is called labor. So what is this labor? 
It refers to a, each individual particular mission for every soul has a unique body, intellect, and emotions according to the nature and, and characters. Meaning, some people need to work more in their heart. Some people need to work more in their man, mind. Some people need to work more taking care of their mouth. Something, some people have to be more aware of what is coming in his lower body and his passions. Some people need uh, more uh, uh, to, to be able uh, to delve into the spiritual realm. Some people need, uh, have, uh, some people have characteristics that are very good in business and they are good for give say that can help other people. So everybody has different emotional natures and character trails specific that come to work into this world. So, so this is also, for example, now that we enter in, into the parishes that we are giving donations to the temple, there was the donations of half of shekel, that everybody gets the same, doesn't matter if you are rich and you are poor, uh, how much you have, everybody gives the same. So this refer, this, the, 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 the reverend is that this is refle, relate, related, for example, to the, to the mitzvahs. No matter, no matter in which level, if you are a Talmud Chacham, a great sage, or a very, very, very simple person, that are just even starting to begin to observe, you have the same mitzvahs, the same commandments to the other person. So why the other person is harder? Because the, 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 this refers to the offerings that says everybody bring according to their hearts the materials of the Mishkan. So the, the material relates also to the emotional attributes. And these same emotional attributes, everybody is different. You may do the same prayer, but you, you have more ahava in jira, more love and fear. You may put more kamana in your prayer. You want to do the extra mile. You want to do the, the Hasid action, meaning go beyond the letter of the law. <coughs> so, so, because we have a general work, and we also have a particular personal um, work. So this is related to your labor. So how much you can grow and develop yourself uh, in, in, in your unique a range of emotional uh, component and intellectual components. And then it says, um, and, and it, it says, to lumine, uh, this lay, uh, okay, until evening. So what it means until evening? Go, man goes out, goes to work into his labor, uh, and to, until evening. So until evening, it means while we are in this world. Why? Because once the night comes, it's going to be the time, unless Bezrat Hashem, if Mashiach comes first, then we, there's not going to be evening, it's going to be just light. It's just going to be day. And all the day is going to be like Shabbos, Shabbat. But this refers to when the time with the soul is time to go out the body. It says, and, and there's two understanding of what is evening, because also... To understand day, for example, one meaning is like when, like for, when it says "Metzavecha Hayom," and that I command you today. When we say, for example, the Shema, what it means today? It means there is not a, a, an old fetch commandment that we receive three thousand and three hundred and thirty something years back then, and now we gotta kind of like you know be a little more modern, you know, like this is kind of like antiquated. No. Moon Sina is right now. The Bashan Tobi says, says the Moon Sina is right now. It's just we don't perceive it. It never went away. The same voice is speaking now. So you, you should receive the commandment like it's, you're receiving it from Moon Sina today. So that, that's, that's, that's how we should live. I thought it was, that's one of the meanings of today. The, the other meaning of today means in, in this world. Because when the soul leaves the body, it cannot do my mitzvahs. In the other world, you don't have the feeling. Um, you don't have physical the feel, the feeling. You don't have the physical aspects through which you can perform a mitzvah. <coughs> you can you can do it in a, in a spiritual way, like 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 the abo, like like the abot, or you can learn about it. But uh, we cannot do uh, mitzvahs. And mitzvahs has a relationship with the concept of planting. It's like planting a seed. You plant a seed, you don't see what's going on. It's going to take a while. 
but little by little, but, sh but surely it's going to sprout. And you're, that seed is going to give you quant quality, qualitative and quantitative thousand times more than what you plant. So that refers to the, the Olan Haba, the world to come. Something interesting to say is that, um, so we are not going to be able, let, let, let's, let's continue to, and, and we explain more of this as we com, uh, continue. It says, until evening, while there is still time to accomplish, as it is great, writing today, to perform them, the misbots. So on a more profound level, this verse might be explained. Okay. So, like also there's a saying in Perkei about ethic, ethics of our fathers. After, after Spesa, we have the custom to read uh, 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 in Shabbat in the afternoon because days are longer and we have more time. So it says that it's better an hour, a moment of Teshuvah of returning to, 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 to God, that's a simple meaning, or, but to, to really returning to who we really are, and good deeds, then all the life in the world to come. More important than all the life in the world to come is a moment of Shuba and good deeds in this world. And then it says, the next verse it says, and all the pleasures of this world, meaning all the pleasures that anybody had, have or will have before Mashiach come into this into this world in this world, all of them do com doesn't compare to a moment of pleasure in the world to come. So how is this so? Is this that first is saying that we just one moment of of the shuvah good deeds is doesn't compare to all the time in the in the world to come. But then it says that one moment of of, of pleasure in the Gan Eden doesn't com doesn't compare to all the pleasures. Both, like the, the holy ones and the unholy ones, na is nothing. So the concept is that Hash we are planting, so we are workers of the field. We're doing misbots. And every worker is, in due, to, uh, is due to his uh, payment. So Hashem is going to reward us, that's the, the concept of the world to come. Because even He can give you Shefa, money, sons, and health, and a wonderful life. All that is nothing compared to, to what, what the, for, for, the, for the world to come. So that's the payment that He gives you. But that is what is for you. But for, but for Hashem, what is most important? A moment of the shoe and good deed. In this world, is better than anything. So, this is a very, 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 very thing, deep thing that we need really contemplate and thanks Hashem. To even if it's, if would be one person that sees this, like I'm, I'm very grateful. Um, so, and it says. Um, this is one level of to to interpret all this uh, of this verse, and and he's interpreting this verse as we are coming out from above and then being enclosed here, and we only have till the night uh, to do the work because then we th that's it. Now we're, he's gonna explain the same, but now explaining from the perspective from the bottom up, and this touches again like the the symbol of the two fishes coming back like in two opposite direction. So it says, on a more profound level, the verse may be explained as follows. The verse refers to the ascent of the soul in, uh, of, in, in general, achieved by its prior, prior, uh, prior descent, man goes out to the material world. This is a concept that in Hasidus is called Gerida Lexor Aliyah, meaning a descent for the shake of an ascent. So many times we feel like, oh, we finally, we're getting into track. We're going in the good direction. Everything is going nice and smooth and from one level to the other. And out of a sudden it's like, Pfft. and we may feel like uh, disappointed. Like we don't know what's going on, but, but we, I mean, I didn't do anything wrong. Like, like, so that is, 
Hashem is sending us to that place to have a greater descent, a greater ascent. Because this, sometimes the treasures are not fine. Where are treasures? Sometimes are places that are hidden that you're not expected. Like uh, Lehabdil, have they really, really also like uh, uh, people uh, describing like the moments of enlightenment and awakening of people? And uh, something that they can describe is that you can never predict it. You can never how it's going to come to you. And you can try to make a formula for any uh, others, but even they can inspire and they can try take general concept. Everybody has to find it in a very unique, particular way. So, uh, so it says that that um, that we we descend to this world, and we and and, and this is for the sake of of having an an, an ascent. Um, so, okay, no, this I I can ah okay. Um, this is for the sake of, of having an, an, an ascent. And, 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 and there are a, a beautiful uh, teachings of the Lubavitcher Rebbe that says, it's not even a descent for the sake of an ascent. If the fire that is for the sake of an ascent, it means that even when you're going down, you're going up. Because it's like you're doing like this. <laughs> and so... It says uh, the the soul, uh, um, and, and this says the soul when the soul, and a more uh, this achieve achieve by prior prior the sin man goes out into the uh, um, the uh, descent man goes out uh, into the material world or from the material world we're going out when the soul ascends. From its being, from its being enclosed in the body in a material world, so we are coming out, going out. We we say going out when we're coming out, where we are coming out of the collective pool of of, of souls in the higher worlds. Now we are coming out, coming out out of from our body, coming out from Egypt, coming out of the restriction, like Abraham also. It says lech lecha. Go down, go down. Abraham means Abraham, the father that is exalted. A father is also a, a terminology in Kabbalah for, for wisdom, from Chokhmah. He's the supernal wisdom. He's not even able to relate to the world. He's in a so high level. So Hashem says, Lech Lecha, no, go down. And then I will, I, I will uh, reveal to you, to you. But uh, a Tausch, the Hasidu says, this is, I re will reveal to you, is not that I will give you the revelation to you. No, I will reveal who you are to the whole world. I will reveal you. I will show what you really are made of, which not even you know. Because you are there, but when you come down, you will need a special power, higher than where you are, to be able to pierce into that darkness. So that's the that's 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 the meaning because there's also in Hasidus a, a, a concept that whatever reaches lower, it comes from a higher source, and you see sometimes the metaphor every metaphor loses from the original example, but it says like from the original um, idea, but like for example a wall that fails, that bricks that are higher up stay farther away. But then that that uh, 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 when when we are so far away, we have this enormous desire to connect with 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 Hashem that is more powerful and it's like a, a rebouncing light that hits rock bottom and it's gonna rebound even with with with, with, with more strength. And it says also the Washington top the way you know the way of the reasons he was sent to Egypt is because he all the time was in light. He didn't know and he he needed to experience contrast. He didn't know how it was like this style of life in Egypt. Anyways, so that's, and then it says, uh, the soul, of the word, uh, and it says, the soul ascends from its being enclosed in the body in this material world. Then, it says, to his work, the soul's occupation in the world to come. 
with this it says is commensurate commensurate with its occupation in the material world meaning I, I'm gonna continue he was gonna say if he has studied Torah regularly there too in the world to come the soul is ushered into the tents of Torah some people whatever you develop in this world is where you're gonna come continue in the in the, in the next world but because don't think that when great tzaddikim are not physically seen in this world, they just go to heaven and scratch their belly. They continue growing from level to level to level to level. And Kabbalah is great, amazing. Like every day they are, and they're like, Moshe has his academy, and Rab Shimon Bar Yochai has his academy. And so we're going to continue in whatever our task that we come to do here, we are going to continue in a higher level without the restrictions in, 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 the, in the world to come. And then it says, uh, to his labor, if he performs his aboda, his work properly, then his ascent goes on. Meaning, doesn't matter if you come here in this world to be a lawyer, to be a painter, to be a healer, to be just uh, to to be uh, uh, or, 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 or 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 a mom. Uh, or, 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 or to create an association, a company that help people. Doesn't matter what is your aboda, but if that is what you came to refine yourself, to do your work, that's what it's touching here. This says if he performed his aboda properly, it's not describing that that everybody should be doing the same. It's a, it's, 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 it, there was this Zahar and there was Sebulon. This Zahar learned Torah and Sebulon su support the, the Torah learner. And the, the, that was a whole concept of the 12 tribes. And the Levites had their function and everybody has their function and you have your function. So, until, until Erev, until evening, higher and higher until he attains the ultimate delight and Arevut, sweetness of the essence of the Ein Sof, blessed be He. The infinite light. So the infinite light, we cannot experience it really without coming into this world. Because the infinite light is uh, like a basilegani said, mimala 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 mat mala ein kets ein kets mimala 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 mimata mala ein tachlis. Without without end, without uh, without um, uh, without end, without restriction. So in the same, the bottom, rock bottom is. When a person can be here and still experience that not only that he's an, ident a, a, an entity that exists, even to deny the existence of, of, of Hashem, this is a very unique, bizarre experience only here. The, 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 the bottom level is a person that denies God. But there's two levels of that. One is that denies God because he doesn't know about God. And that is, uh, that's why I tell the people when it said to me, I'm atheist. Uh, uh, this is, comes also from, see, there's various, various stories. It uh, came to the Rebbe and says, I'm, I'm atheist. And I said, oh, wow, that means you learn all, 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 all the Torah, all the Sohar, all the Mishnah. I said, no, to everything. He said, no. No, he says, um, you're, not, you're not an atheist. You, you, you're just an ignorant. So because the, the lowest level is a person that Mamash knows but still the nice and think his kiss goes like like Pharaoh, like Pharaoh. He knew that the river grow because Yabi, Jacob Abinu came and that grow and he know that he's not he he's not the God, he didn't create the Nile. But still he say that. So even that even that is a, is to return. Even that is to recognize that doesn't have a messiah, that doesn't have an independent existence and and and, and only comes from the divine infinite light. So that's my message to all of you. To don't be, to don't be this, uh, discouraged. Don't be afraid of the paradox. And, and meditate in the great, great, great gift 
that we have been given, Torah and mitzvahs, to be a light into the world. Because you, in this world, are a testimony that God exists. If somebody says that doesn't believe in God, your mere existence is an answer to them that God exists in this world. So as long as the Jews, as long as the Jewish people is here in this world, God is going to be in this world. And as long and as there is a God, Jews are going to be in this world. Chodesh Tov, Umevorach, Bepurim Sameach. Maybe I'll just mention that in Adar, if somebody's struggling, anything could change like that. It's the time. Yeah, my, my beautiful wife is saying that the, um, in, in Adar is a time that anything can flip. Everything is challenging, everything is stuck. You could be the rock bottom. You, you can be the rock bottom. And um, it says also something uh, uh, also that... Um, this is a part of Hasidus that not, not everybody are into, but my, my, my wife and I and, uh, are a big part into this aspect of Hasidus. It says that um, right now the animal soul and the body nourishes us from the divine soul. The divine soul is what gives vital, vitality to the animal soul and the animal soul is what gives vitality to the body. But because the fact that mitzvahs can only perform in a physical manner, in the time to come with the revelation of how mitzvahs bring the essence of Hashem, we don't see it. We, we put the feeling or we do a mitzvah or we give tzedakah and we don't see, wow, like, like, like a Kadosh Baruch Hu descend in the shadow and manifest and we don't see that. But 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 that's why in, in the world to come, all those seeds that we plant, we're gonna see that light, and, and the mitzvahs create garments for us, so we can receive that uh, uh, light in the world to come. But in the time of Geula, in the time of Mashiach, it's like the pasuk says, "My flesh will see." For my flesh will I will see, meaning it's not that I you're gonna hear about it, it's that you're gonna see it, but it's not that you're gonna see it. Like, far above, above, it's like you're going to see it from your own flesh. You're going to sense it. So, this is a, a concept that the body is going to take so much holiness, that now the, the body is going to nourish the soul. This touches also on the concept that Eshet Chayel Ateret Bala, meaning that the, 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 the woman that represents also the body, like in Alpi Kabbalah, like for example, the the story of Abraham and Sarah represents a metaphor. <coughs> besides the literal meaning, all Kabbalah doesn't mean that the literal meaning is not true, unless there's mentions of that. But uh, normally, the Torah doesn't the, uh, goes away from the literal meaning. But besides that, there's also that Abraham represents the soul, and Sarah represents the body. So this is Hakadosh Baruch who says everything what your your wives told you you should do. So in this context, it's speaking also in the time of Geula, where one is need to be able also to to hear his body, and the body even is lower than the soul, but in the source is higher because the one the one that descends farther down comes from a higher source. And the end is engaged in the beginning, the beginning, the end. That was the initial intention before creation. The intention of Hashem is that we come here, we have a physical body, and we do mitzvot, and we reveal Him in the lower world. Because He wants Adira the Takton in a place to dwell. So the, the Balatania says, what is this thing that Hashem likes to dwell? He's not created of everything. He can dwell and he, he doesn't He is inside and encompasses all creation. What is the thing that I want to dwell here as opposed to here? He's not here everywhere. Yeah, but this is just a concept of where he's revealed. He's here and everywhere, but not in a revealed way. It's in a concealed way. So we want it in a revealed way. So in this time to come, also, the, 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 the woman is going gonna, is gonna to be, be able to sh uh, be revealed, the source that becomes... A crown of their husband, meaning the crown is above. Is, is above. It's, it's, it's not even part of the body. It's, it's, it's higher than the body. So, 
So in honor also to all the wonderful women of Baylor that, that, that keep uh, the flame alive and to keep the, this world and all the families and um, we'll be able also to have this integration anybody that is in need of Shalom Bites, anybody that needs a Shiduch uh, that needs to find their, their, their partner, their soul and knowing that it's a relationship with, with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you should be blessed and you should have that blessing and um, we should be able to uh, work in unity the body and the soul, man and woman, the heavens and the air, the physical and the spiritual, and shouldn't be not separation because both man and woman were created from the same source. The physical and the spiritual are like nothing in front of the creation, the creator that created both. So that's the light of the infinite that uh, unifies all opposites. So that's why we shouldn't recognize the difference between the Arur Haman and Baruch Mordechai. Should we finish here? What, what should we do? What's the thing? Okay. Love and light to all of you. Hashem should bless. Hey, make sure uh, to watch this session live up. Uh, no, that's from Eris. Uh. Okay, there we go.